Hey, this is Raul for Bass Musician Magazine, and today we are going to take a look at a glary bass. Now, when I discovered glary basses, and I'd seen some videos, and I looked at the price point, which kind of ranges between $100 to about $140, I got kind of curious, and I started wondering, what kind of bass can you get for under $150? I know that especially with students and beginners, it's important to have an instrument that inspires them to want to practice, inspires them to want to use it because it plays decently, but by the same token, they may not be ready to invest a lot of money in instrument, you know? Parents aren't sure whether the kid's gonna keep on playing and isn't ready to go in and buy a more expensive instrument. Even just their, their level of taking care of their instruments. I know that I, when I got my first guitar, I hit the corner of a coffee table and broke it open. And I can't tell you how consternated I was, but at a price point of under $150, it could take some dings. As long as it does the job that you're looking for it to do, that would be the important thing. So I was really curious to see if Glary could deliver on a reasonable entry level to intermediate level instrument at a price point under 150. Let's take a look. So let's take a close look at the Glary GIB electric five string bass. To start out with, this is a right-handed instrument and it is a full size bass. When we look inside the box, it comes with a gig bag. It has a two inch wide strap. It has an eight foot plus instrument cable. You get two Allen head wrenches and a pick. The body on this instrument is made with bass wood, and that gives it characteristic of being soft and light. The neck is maple, and the fingerboard is rosewood. It has a plastic nut that is a 45 millimeter. On this one, they went with enclosed machine heads, so when you look at the back, you don't have the exposed gears. It's 24 frets with a 34 inch scale. I went with black. And as you can see, it is a painted finish and they complemented the headstock to match black on the front side and the maple on the back. The manufacturer says it weighs at about 6.4 pounds, but this one actually weighed 7.5 when I tried it out. The strings are on the G 0.045 and then at the B 0.125 so you got that range for those five strings it has a fixed chrome bridge that is adjustable and when it comes to the controls this is a passive instrument you've got two volume and two tone controls each of those related to a specific pickup those pickups are split single coil pickups this is a jazz bass kind of setup. The neck pickup is a QA07. Bridge pickup is a QA09. And these have a coil count of 6,800 turns. I will add that in the construction, this is a bolt-on bass. And so you do see the four screws and it does have a cavity, no batteries, passive instrument. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about the sound chain I'm going to use. Even though the Glary does come with its own instrument cable, I am going to still give it the benefit of using my Astrope base cable to go into my DNA amp. So I have the virtue of having a great amp and a great cable in combination with this. Thank you. 
Okay, so there you have it. The Glary GIB five string bass is basically a decent instrument. Feel wise, the way it's constructed feels solid. The finishing frets feel reasonably finished. They're not absolutely perfect, but again, at this price point, this is probably as good as you're gonna get. In addition to that, it sounded better than I was expecting. Now, granted, I found I was able to find a sweet spot that I like how it sounded and I didn't care for all of the tone knob options, but depending on the kind of music that you're playing, it might be right for you. So I tried to show you kind of the range of what it could do. And it is very limited because basically you've got two volumes and you've got two tones. I found more uh, response, more changes in the way it sounded on the bridge pickup than on the neck pickup. And again, it's just as you play with it, I think for a beginner or even an intermediate player, if you can find that sound that you like and you just leave it there. And then if you wanna alter anything, do it with your pedal board, get any array of sounds that you wanna get using other tools, that would be a very doable thing to do. So there are some areas that, you know, I will add the weight was very comfortable, the lack of neck dive, with this, I'll point out here that the additional things that come with the bass, like the gig bag, I tried to play with the pick that they sent, so that kind of gave you an idea what that would sound like. I prefer thicker straps, so I'm, I know I'm not gonna use a two inch strap. That's one thing. The gig bag, if you're just beginning and you don't have any gig bag, this is better than no gig bag. So it gets you started, but it would be things that if I were an earnest student, I would probably be looking to replace as I go. Um, among the other great things about this instrument is I think it's got good bones to begin with. And if you want to do mods to it over time, you certainly could do that. You could refine the way the frets feel. You could refine perhaps the way the neck feels. You could oil the fretboard some. If needed, you could change out the bridge for a high density bridge. If you wanted to, you could change out the electronics, but you don't have to. You can get a decent sound with it exactly as it is, which is why this is such a valuable instrument, I think, for beginners. When you look at the price point, it's coming in at maybe five times less than some entry models with other brands. And so if you're not sure whether your student is going to want to play bass for the long term, it's a good calculated risk and you won't suffer if it gets dinged or banged up and if they want to put stickers on it you're not going to sweat it because you're out with this base this is coming in around 139 dollars so you know you're ahead with that you can see it if they're going to pick up this instrument if they're going to love playing it and it can be the springboard maybe for you to look ahead at getting other instruments down the road if they're you've got an earnest player for the intermediate players, I can totally see them getting a hold of an instrument like this and modding it out, making it yours, doing what you need to do to get it to that extra little bit because, example, a set of Nordstrand pickups on this would make it a totally different instrument. So there's a lot of possibilities, but you don't have to do any of that, which is the great thing about this. Some of the other minor details. The paint finish, again, it's very nice and shiny, but you can see when you look at it certain ways, some of the kind of legs where the paint dripped a little, they polished it and buffed it and made it almost unperceivable, but you can notice it. The other interesting thing is the way they've set up the fretboard. You will see kind of an interesting little overhang, I'm gonna call it. It doesn't affect the playability and it doesn't hurt anything. It's just not an area where they spent time scalloping or refining it. But as long as you know what you're getting into from the beginning, it's all good. So again, I think a very predictable, dependable kind of brand. Other things to change that we'd mentioned, the nut, because it's plastic, some people that might bother, it sounded fine to me. So I don't really have a problem with that. The strings, I don't know anything about these strings. I look forward to changing them to a set that I'm more familiar with and that I am used to the feel. All in all, I think this is a good starter to intermediate instrument 
at a very decent price point. So if you want to know more, go to glarymusic.com and you can check out their full line of basses. They've got this kind of the jazz, but they also have P basses, jazz basses. They also make guitars and other instruments as well. So you can certainly look at that and all of them at a very reasonable price point. Kind of be prepared to make, do some small little touches here and there that will personalize it and make it your very own. But I think you'll find it a very comfortable, enjoyable instrument to play. Have fun with it. See your kids have fun with it. And if and when they're ready to move up to a higher level instrument, you'll do so with the confidence of knowing they're already in love with the bass. This has been Raul for Bass Musician Magazine, bringing the latest in the world of bass. And today, Glary Five String. Mm -hmm.